working all my life, you know. Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows. Hey loves, in today's video, I will be doing a bit of skincare again and some hair oiling. I am seeing some thinning in my hair and I want to tackle that. And I wanna show you, I got a great product from the TikTok shop. Um, it was sent to me, it was a sample and I'm super excited about trying it. I also did some micro needling in those areas to like open up that hair because when you start seeing patches in your head it's just one thing to like change your diet and do all those things but you kind of have to like what they call send a shock to the area so by me michael needling that area i'm sending signals to my cells that wake up like hello knock knock is anyone there like i'm sending the signal that i'm ready for you to start producing at a higher level you're not paying attention or you're not responding really you're not responding to my call and my call is for you to wake up and let's get growth going and so that's what micro needling is it's like you're bruising that area you're you're shocking it and by sending that shock to that area it helps stimulate your skin has like said hey whatever you did damaged us and we're just gonna stop working so now i need to like open up that like have you have a pimple i've noticed that people are popping their pimples with needles now i mean it's a lot going on but micro needling is a shock a good shock to areas where you want to see production like turnover immediately and so when i tell you i used it last week and i'll pop that clip in i used it last week you'll see me in different clothes i used it last week and just from me paying attention from that week to this week, I seen total difference in the hair area. I see like it was way more skin there, way more of a patch. And now you can tell that the patch is like closing and the hair is coming in, which I'm so excited about. So I am happy that I do have this minoxidil, 5% um, minoxidil with the biotin to treat that area along with the concoction of um, hair oils I created and that will be in today's video we'll be doing a bit of hair oiling and skincare and so guys on this channel you will get hair care skincare and home decor in all things beauty because you can't really take care of your hair if you're not going to take care of your skin yeah they, to me they go hand in hand um when you train for skincare they make you take a crash course in hair care when you train for hair care they make you take a crash course in skincare it kind of like plays off of each other but in a smaller like capacity so we'll be doing that today so i don't want to do too much talking so let's get into this video better alt sent me this external youth collagen builder um can't wait to try this i'm actually on my own collagen build builder right now that i got from um walgreens which is the neo seal and so i don't want to like combine the two this one has pomerant pomegranate and aloe vera it's a berry flavor mine don't have a um, flavor this one's maintain youthful skin and support strong nails and hair another item that i did receive from the tiktok shop um that was sent to me as a sample and i appreciate it because i love collagen like i can have a million collagens i'll get on all of them Last but not least, this is the um, product I received this week as well. This is called Elevate. It's a hair growth oil, biotin with 5% minoxidil. Um, if you know anything about minoxidil, they sell it in um, they sell it in Walgreens, CVS mainly. CVS and Walgreens mainly sell minoxidil. Um, I don't know if they sell minoxidil at Sephora or Ulta, but Target will sell it. Walmart will sell it. Stores like that will sell um, minoxidil it's a hair growth um ingredient that is in um a few products walgreens have their own brand and then i forgot the other brands but i used to work um in beauty so i know about these things um when i tell you when i was working um in the beauty department the way the latin women used to come in there and buy minoxidil um minoxidil at a certain age like you will notice that women that are either in their early 40s and older or late 30s were getting on this like 
I would say five, six years ago, I used to see them in there like crazy. And some of them had the most fullest hair. I'm like, oh my God, that's what they're using. I never thought to try it. But lately I've been seeing like a small patch on my head, um, in my head and that I want to treat. And I've been treating it with oil, but I can't wait to, um, you know, I'm gonna do a patch test first because of course, any with anything, you wanna do a patch test because you wanna make sure that you don't have any allergic um, reaction, um, no any breakouts from the product. So I'm gonna do maybe a patch test. Um, I'm trying to see where I'm gonna put it in the back of my head or on my arm. I'm probably gonna do it on my arm just to see if I get any allergic reaction. And then um, I can't wait to try this. I actually, this is one of the products that I know I'm going to be in front of the camera using because like my goals for hair growth is like major to me and the thicker the hair, the better. So I can't wait to try this from Elevate. They sent this to me. Um, they actually reached out to me first and I was like, sure. And now I have been like ignoring my actual um, DMs, but I am paying way more attention to my um, DMs because Thank God that I put up the content that I put up and it's not, you know, catered to, you know, controversy or it's not catered to like the male gaze. It's just about what I am passionate about, which is beauty. Um, I'm a licensed esthetician, of course, but I'm also an expert in beauty recommendations as a beauty consultant. So I feel that like the information that I have, I want to share so you'll get a lot here on this channel so guys i know you he come here for hair a lot but i want to share my experiences um you know doing these tiktok reviews and also just trying products that align with my brand um i think i've always been a diva at heart and um i think all of you guys are divas as well so yeah i hope you guys um follow me on tiktok so you can see more of what i'm talking about sometimes i fall off um you know on different things and i can be all over the place sometimes but my content is always centering women and lifestyle and just upkeep and beauty so this was everything that was sent to me in the last week and again just post the content here like i was saying how spacey this area is um of course my hair is probably pulled a little bit because it's in a braid underneath there but I have seen like a difference in like just the volume of my hair, especially my leave out area from all those versatile sew-ins. And so when I say I'm giving those a break and I may be going back to wigs. So here I'm opening up this product and I am so excited to try it because anything that will help stimulate um, my hair growth in this area, I am on top of and I want to try. So in the first clip, you saw me micro, micro needling my scalp. And that's just so that I can puncture holes into my scalp so I can get the product to penetrate and we can get those hairs growing and coming in faster. So micro needling is going to puncture tiny little bruised holes in that area just to get that hair to be stimulated and so that they can come from under the skin because the skin is like tried to like heal itself and hair is not coming out as coarse and fast and strong as it should so this is my second week of micro needling i'm trying to do it two to three times a week at most so i can see better results Oh my gosh, every morning my body works for me. My two legs, they can walk me to work. And I'm worried about the pimple on my face. Mm -hmm. You know, my brain works every day just to give thoughts. My heart works every day to give love. I can use my hands and my feet. And I'm going to double how cleanse, lucky are we just with that? And for so why am I worried about my hands with cold or my water? We did our hair oiling. I washed my face. Um, I do did double cleanse. Um, because I have oily skin, I double cleanse with products that is going to keep impurities away or off of my skin. Um, and I did the glow serum. Normally, I'll just put vitamin C right on top of that. But I was trying to make up my bed because my room is kind of like messy. Or it was, but it, it's better now a bit. And I don't like that this is my background. But... It's the lighting here. The lighting here is the best in the house. I don't have to set up any lights. I don't have anything but my vanity light that when I moved in, that's what was here. So it makes life easy because the lighting is 
perfect. And I could be sitting over there, but then the lighting isn't the best. I could be sitting out there, but the lighting isn't the best. I just choose to sit here because the lighting is better. Okay, so after I have used the Glow Serum, which has niacinamide, vitamin E, and AHA, I'm going to go in with my vitamin C. reason for using vitamin C is because it is going to tighten and it's going to even out skin tone and also it's going to help with fine lines. I find that that's the overall benefits of vitamin C, but for me, I've noticed that Vitamin C helps with my fine lines. I'm middle age. If you didn't know, I'm middle age. <laughs> but the saying is black don't crack or it's genetics. No, it isn't. There's so much that I had to change overall. To like get to this place. Um, I cut out alcohol. I cut out all added sugar. I cut out processed food other than potato chips. Like, I'm not getting rid of potato chips um, ever. And I cut out cheese and dairy. I never, I never could drink milk anyway, but I do like to have, um, sometimes I like to have a cereal. And so I use oat milk but I don't eat eggs anymore. The only way I'll have eggs if I'm baking. So when I say I cut it out, I cut it out like never was able to digest eggs ever. I don't know if I'm the only one, but when I eat eggs, it feels like I'm going to regurgitate them. Like I'm going to like spit them or throw them up back out. So. I don't like that feeling. They never really settle in my body or in my gut. So I always feel like they're still here. Like they never really settle. I feel like I'm going to regurgitate them or bring them back up. So I was able to cut out eggs. I do like boiled eggs, but it's not something I eat regularly. Like it's something like if you have like double eggs, which is something I never have. Not even once a year do I eat that. I have to go to a party or something to have it. Um... And I bake with eggs and I don't bake often, so I'm not eating them on a regular basis. Or in like a seafood, a seafood boil, which don't eat often either. So again, I was able to cut out eggs. Cutting out alcohol helped with aging in my skin. I was noticed that my skin was becoming like it was melting would be a good term. So the elasticity in my skin wasn't there anymore. I felt like my skin was drooping. Like my lines were like, my smile lines were being more like pronounced and enhanced. And I'm like, okay, this could be from the alcohol. Alcohol has sugar in it. Cut that out. I think I'm going on two, three months um, of not even purchasing alcohol, period. Now I have had a drink in that time, but it's like twice, I think over a three month period. So cutting out alcohol, cutting out added sugars, I eat fruit. I do crave sweets, so I eat fruit to um, deter me from buying things that will cause, you know, issues. Well, the benefits of vitamin C, it helps with all my fine lines. I never had Botox, never had nothing done. All my fine lines, even out my skin tone, I just popped two bumps. So I was on some medication a week ago and Taking the medication, like I knew I hadn't had anything sweet. I hadn't had any fruit. I mean, not fruit. I hadn't had anything sweet. So I'm like, why am I breaking out? And I mean, these two were super under their skin breakout. So again, I pay attention to everything I'm doing. So I kind of am aware of what I'm eating. And so if something comes out on my skin, I can tell what it is. So when I hear people say they are hormonal and yeah, but everything is triggered by your diet. Everything is triggered by what you're consuming. So only thing I can think about was I'm on this medication to get better from this one thing, but it's going to cause this thing. I totally stopped that medication, honey. I called those people and told them I would rather just take care of myself the natural way or you guys can uh, recommend something or you guys can give me this because I've tried this one before and I've never had this side effect. So I'm like, is they trying to give me experimental drugs? So back to the vitamin C. The vitamin C helps tighten, brighten, and even out my skin tone. 
Um, I was telling you guys about the medication that I was taking and it caused these two under the skin breakouts and so that's what those two dark spots are from and then I did this one yesterday as I was you know plucking my eyebrows and getting my skin reset it and um they'll be gone because what I use for hyperpigmentation is the vitamin C and I normally use that in the daytime because it fights off impurities and it also is an antioxidant and it helps fight free radicals in the environment okay so that's what I use the vitamin C for in the daytime and then at night I use the faded cream and I love the faded cream because it works great um for my skin and it's the only thing I'm using for hyperpigmentation right now and I think it's doing a great job I think I'm about to buy the L'Oreal glycolic acid because I had that um gifted to me when I was working as a beauty consultant and it was amazing the results that it gave me so I think I'm going to actually purchase that one because I feel like that's going to push my skin care or my hyperpigmentation where I need it to be so I don't have it anymore so it's going to help me eliminate it all together because that's how good that particular um L'Oreal glycolic acid is it's a really good one I'm allowing the vitamin C to absorb in my skin so the reason vitamin c needs a max three to five minutes to absorb because it's one of the active ingredients that you're paying the bucks for that you want to get results for so you don't want to compile it with too many things back in the day i used to use my vitamin c right after washing because you to dry off my face these days most vitamin c is combined with hyaluronic acid so I buffer my face with hyaluronic acid right before I put on my vitamin C. Let that sit and then I'll go in with, I use like two different vitamin C's in fact. I use two different vitamin C's. I'll go in with the second one and because it's daytime, I'll moisturize and then I'll do a sunscreen. I've been using sunscreen for the last week, like daily, because sometimes when I'm indoors, I don't touch sunscreen, but I've been busy. It's been back to school. With the kids and so i've been out every day and i just recommend using it find one that that you like and use it daily or incorporate it daily in your daily routine even if you're not going to go out so did my sew-ins cause some sort of issues when it comes to my hair growth journey yes it did but do i believe i can actually recover you know from that, yes, I do. I'm hoping that that minoxyl mixed with that biotin will actually boost my hair growth follicles in my behind my hairline because my hairline is not um, really the issue. It's right behind my hairline. And I don't know, I think that came from tension. It had to be tension from a braid or something. So I'm thinking about going back to wigs because I feel like that's when my hair was at its strongest. And I feel like if I can just do a six month run, which I don't want to, but if I start in September, September, October, November, December, January, February, I'll be out of them, you know, by spring. So I think I, I want to do for the fall wigs. I do. I can make a wig look like it's growing on my scalp. So I don't know why I'm running from this. This is my actual forte. So. If you guys are interested in seeing me create some wigs, um, I'll be doing them from, from beginning to end. Just go ahead and leave a comment. But this is because I think I'm going to now, you know, just come from underneath worrying about what others think. Um, I guess I've seen so many bad wigs. I'm like, oh, I can't. They're always like clocking every, you know, a girl said it like a screen door on TikTok. And I think she called the girl a... I don't even want to get into it. It's just, what is going on? Like, what's really going on in the internet? The internet is a wow. It's the wow, wow west. That's why I really don't get on TikTok and do too much talking. Because I'm like, if you come for me, I'm a city girl. I'm a city girl. Um, the things that I am receiving from TikTok, which I am so happy about. Um, I actually liked everything I received from TikTok. Um... And the reason I believe that I'm getting the products that I'm getting is because um, 
you just have to post the content like they say. You just have to post the content and then it has to have a relatability to the brands that you want to work with. So, um, I got this hair growth oil from them. I got some collagen. I got this neck cream that I'm about to try in a little bit with you guys. Um, and then the pimple patch I took off. I got that from them. And then I got an SPF, a tinted SPF, which is amazing because it has to have zinc in it and which zinc is great for your skin. So thank you loves for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. I will be taking this out of my hair at the end of the month. And again, I am not putting any heat on it. We're just letting the, the, the natural hair come through um, while we deal with this hair growth issue on the other side. I will see you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Oh my gosh, every morning my body works for me. My two legs, they can walk me to work and I'm worried about the pimple on my face. Mm -hmm. You know, my brain works every day just to give thoughts. My heart works every day to give love. I can use my hands and my feet. And how lucky are we just with that? And so why am I worried about my hair thinning or my uh -huh. acne or the fact that like I hated this picture of myself and realizing that it really does start from yourself and understanding that like that aura comes from you it's not about how many times your boyfriend tells him y you that you love he loves you it's about how you go to sleep at night and telling yourself i'm so lucky i'm so lucky and somehow with collective consciousness it really does work and it turns out for you and there's something so so deeply prominent and profound about gratitude and like you really understand that when you're in those darkest parts of your life you forget to have gratitude when gratitude is the only thing that can pick you up from any of those places